if we uh, need to quantify the cognitive deficit, that is, how demented is Bertha, uh, and if we want to follow her cognition to see how fast is she deteriorating, or when we took away the Benadryl, did she get better, then we need a test. And some of the tests that are out there that are useful uh, would include the classic um, mini mental status examination, MMSE. Uh, the other one that's a little bit newer uh, and that I use almost exclusively is the St. Louis University mental status examination. A couple of quick words about that. The, the MMSE is copyrighted, and if you're going to use it, you really should send some money to the authors every time you use one. Uh, almost nobody does that, and we're stealing from the authors if you're going to use it. Uh, the the uh, St. Louis University mental status examination has been given to medicine as a public document uh, by um, John Morley up at St. Louis and the people at the VA, and God bless them, they've done a great job of that and they've given it away to the world. Another thing is the MMSE does a nice job of stratifying severe disease, but isn't very good for stratifying mild disease and doesn't pick up minimum cognitive impairment at all, does not separate that from normal. Whereas the St. Louis University mental status examination does diagnose minimum cognitive impairment that has not yet reached the level of dementia, and it stratifies mild dementia and moderate dementia better, and it is sloppier when it comes to severe dementia, but that's the way it should be. You need to know more when they're at the front end of their dementia career than at their back end. Confusion assessment method uh, called the CAM is for delirium, and it comes in multiple uh, uh, varieties. There's one for the emergency room, there's one for the hospital, uh, there's one for the ICU, and there's one for long-term care. Di slightly different iterations of these. So look for delirium and to watch delirium lift as you do whatever magic you do for this.